wanted to talk about um, a recent incarceration of one of our colleagues, um, Mr. Andrew Heisman. Um, Andrew was uh, arrested and convicted of a public order charge because he didn't wear a mask on a bus, for which he had an exemption as an asthma asthmatic. He has exempt from the mask, and he had a written exemption with him. But um, the Gardaí manufactured a public order charge in order to enforce COVID regulations within which they had no power of enforcement and indeed uh, were written as a voluntary uh, guideline for the people of Ireland during the pandemic. And we know that this is true because it, all of the COVID regulations that have permeated so much of our lives all come from the health department. So the health department issued, in this case, issued a statutory instrument, 296, uh, regard, sorry, actually the statutory instrument for the buses is, is, a different, uh, is a different statutory instrument. I think it's 198. Um, the statutory instrument for the bus um, that gave, um, it purported to give uh, bus drivers uh, power uh, to ask for information. It's very important to point out that the information is not, um, uh, paperwork but the problem with that is is that the health department cannot issue uh, or delegate authority or responsibility for uh, department of transport uh, employees so the, the health department issued a directive or a guideline and it affected the health uh, the bus drivers in, and, and the bus air and, and all of the, the bus drivers in the country. They also issued uh, uh, a directive or a guideline uh, that affected the Department of Trade, which is the shops and the businesses. So these are not related to the health department at all. And in fact, the no department can issue uh, directives uh, that affect other departments without that other department issuing its own directive to its employees or the people in its care. So the reason that this happened, of course, was because the doll completely disregarded proper procedure for creating a law and vested the power of creating law in Stephen Donnelly, the health minister, which is completely illegal, of course, completely undemocratic, completely undermines all of our uh, democratic principles in the state. But they would, then Stephen Donnelly went on further than just um, creating a law himself. What he done was he trespassed on the power of the of the Department of Transport and he trespassed on the power of the Department of Trade, which is also completely illegal, which is also a complete undermining of our, our democratic process and our democratic institutions. So it, it does go to prove you see the health department could issue guidelines that have absolutely no effect on the department of health or the department of transport or the department of trade they can issue a guideline and then the department of transport and the department of trade can issue their own guidelines based on the health department guideline but that's not what happened we gave the power to Stephen Donnelly to create the health minister to create laws on his own. He done that and then he used that law to affect the power of the Department of Transport and the Department of Trade, which is completely illegal and has no basis in law. So the idea then they went on to use these guidelines um, the, the enforcement of these guidelines was through the public order uh, charge. Uh, so what the Gardaí have, do, or have been doing for decades is they, they don't know how to police anybody. So they use a piece of legislation that was designed for crowd control and they turn it around and apply it to the individual um, where uh, the person, the, the Garda would have been under immense pressure in a, in a crowded situation and it was given certain leeways in the, in the Public Order Act in order to deal with uh, dynamic situations in the middle of a crowd. Uh, it was never intended, or at least it's my belief, that it was never intended that these special powers, the, uh, the idea that you can convict someone on the opinion of a Garda solely as evidence, that you can convict someone of these charges on the opinion of a Garda, it was never intended for uh, the Public Order Act to be used on individuals. So what has happened instead is that the Garda have become lazy and they don't know the law, they don't have an idea of the law, they don't know how to apply the law, they have no idea of the Constitution. We've got ample evidence of this throughout the last year and a half um, 
and instead they just manufacture a public order charge, which is what they, they definitely done in the case of Andy Heesman. Uh, they actually took the video off the internet, re-edited the video, edited it in the way that convicted Andy, and then the judge refused to allow Andy to enter the original of the video into evidence. So this is, um, they know that what they've done regarding the regulations is completely illegal. It was illegal from the day one when they gave, um, they failed to follow, follow proper procedures. They invested the power of making laws in one man, which is completely illegal. And then that one man went and exercised his power over the Department of Transport and the Department of Trade, which is also completely illegal. So if this big long line of crime, serious crime, usurpation of the constitution, treason, all kinds of serious, serious crimes. And the result of them is, is to empower the Gardaí to manufacture public order charges against people who are just going about their daily business. So that's where we are. We are not descending into tyranny. We are in tyranny. This is tyranny. It's just you're not in jail. You're not in jail because you're waiting for the crocodile to eat you last. Well, the crocodile has Andy Heesman in his jaws and it hurts. It hurts me and it hurts this movement. We've got to stop this. We've got to stop what they're doing. They, it's a disgrace that the legal profession has not stood up and pointed this out. It's a f disgrace that the TDs who wrote this voluntary legislation, it is written as voluntary legislation. It is not written in a way that it can be enforced. There is no way that anybody in the Department of Health thinks they have a right to direct what the people in the Department of Transport are doing. There is no way that anybody in the Department of Health thinks that they have the right to be directing what the Department of Trade is doing. It's completely farcical. It's nonsense. And now our citizens and our colleagues are being put in jail.